Absolutely. This is another good one, too. Willie T. Ribs made Indy 500 history 30 years ago as the first black man to qualify for the race. Racial tension of the time created some challenges for him. Uh, but today, he's being recognized. Yeah, he says racing wasn't about making history, but winning. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins, spoke to him and joins us with the story. Nina and Phil, in about an hour, a fundraiser in his honor will begin at the Columbia Club downtown. He says 30 years may sound like a long time ago, but some memorable moments feel like they happened seconds ago. Today, he's happy to see whether, where the culture of racing is going and who's hitting the track. This place is one of the most dangerous places in the world to race. The drivers that race here know that they're putting their life on the line, and it's worth it. And that's why they do it, and that's why I did it. 30 years ago, Willie T. Ribb suited up for the Indy 500. Coming to the track with a third of the financial backing as other teams, he knew he'd be in for a tough ride. I shouldn't have been in the race, but I was and we made it happen. He was an accomplished race car driver before the Indy 500, although a crash ended his run and racial tensions of the time put a damper on progress. They called me up and, he, and I loved it. It didn't end his story or crush his drive. You never get it out of your system. And here, this is the biggest race on the planet. At the time, the push for racial justice and inclusion in auto racing was only a dream. It's becoming a reality now, with ribs applauding efforts to improve diversity and inclusion. Whether George Floyd was the spark that lit the fire, it was going to eventually happen. The drive was never about making history. But his story has helped pave the way for diversity on the track, particularly with this year's nearly all women Peretta Auto Racing team and driver Simona De Silvestro. She is an absolute force to be reckoned with. If it's her day and they and the car is working, she'll run right at the front with the big boys because she's big. And as for the fundraiser celebration tonight, it's benefiting first responders. And Ribs, now in his 60s, says he's still not done with racing. In a few weeks, he'll participate in the XRX Superstar Race. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey. Uh